In this video, I'm going to give you guys some recommendations for accessories to take with you on your landscape photography adventures. So there's lots of different accessories that I take with me to a lot of my landscape excursions that aren't the most obvious things to take. You know, obviously you pack your camera, your lenses, your batteries, your cards, but I want to kind of go beyond that and some of the really useful things that I take with me to a lot of my photo trips. So the first one is this, this, these are the Zeiss pre-moistened lens cleaning wipes thingamajiggies. Uh, they're a pre-moistened wipe that is really useful for getting um, smudges and like rain blotches off of your the element of your lens really nice for getting all that oil off the back of your LCD screen as well use these all the time they're really cheap they're like I think they're like four dollars for 50 uh, you can get them at Walmart super useful I'll take them with me everywhere I go obviously lens cloths you can never have too many lens cloths it seems like I lose more than I own. <laughs> so every time I go out, I make sure to pack like three or four lens cloths. Um, the bigger, the better. Um, next is a microfiber towel. Uh, you can get these off of Amazon for a pretty decent price. Um, I really like them because they're large. They're really absorbent. So when I'm shooting in the rain around a waterfall, something like that, I can quickly dry off my camera but uh, before it gets like super soaking wet, uh, especially if I'm getting a lot of water around all the buttons on my camera, stuff like that, um, I would quickly dry it off. I don't have to worry quite so much about it. I can keep shooting. But when it gets really wet, I take these guys. This, um, I believe it's made by, what is it? Opaca Optitech, Optech. Uh, these things are dirt cheap. They're like five bucks and you get a pair of them and you can quickly throw it over your camera when it starts raining really hard and they have a little drawstring for around your lens i pack at least one or two of these uh, two of these everywhere i go uh, they take no space in your bag and if it rains you can throw it on and then when it stops raining you can take it off and if it starts raining again rather than put the wet one on you can use the other dry one and not have to worry about it i've i've shot in complete downpours in this thing and they work really well the next thing is a shutter release, a remote shutter release. A lot of people use a cable release or an intervalometer. Um, I really like these uh, wireless uh, shutter releases made by Velo. This is like $35 and it's completely wireless. I can extend my antenna, hook this up to my, um, uh, to my camera. I can shoot from my car or if I want to do some kind of cool selfie shot where I'm in the scene uh, These things work for from like 300 to a thousand feet away quite a ways away uh, Have a nice range and they're cheap. It's like 35 bucks really like that Next is a Allen wrench set there are so many little different sizes of Allen wrenches whether it's on your ball head on your tripod even on the bottom screw of your tripod plates, uh, quick release plates. Um, I find that having one of these ensures that I'll actually have the right size Allen wrench. I can't count the number of times that I went to go tighten my legs or something and oh, I don't have that wrench on me. So throwing this in the car or in the bag, they're, they're kind of big and bulky. So <clears throat> a lot of times I just have it in the glove box or something, but having this with me is really useful. Next is a good flashlight. Um, if you can get teeny tiny little flashlights that put out a lot of light these days and uh, having a flashlight with you when you're hiking into somewhere, shooting sunset, I can't count the number of times that I've had a flashlight with me. Other people out there shooting did not and they had to follow me on the trail because it got so dark. So having a good flashlight is very, very important. It's a safety thing. So always pack a flashlight. And the last one that I have for you guys, well, maybe not the last one, the second to last one that I have for you guys is a decent uh, multi-tool. Um, having one of these in your bag, I think, is just another safety thing. Uh, you got screwdrivers that could come in handy. 
if you got to cut your arm off, you've got you've got the little saw in here. Uh, hopefully, you don't have to cut your arm off with a Leatherman. But having just a cheap little, hopefully light multi tool in your bag, um, it's kind of another safety thing. If you really need it, it's good to have. And the last thing is, I like to have a decent weather app of some kind. Um, I always have my phone on me, and if you're in somewhere that has service. Uh, a good weather app can a lot of times be the difference between a good shot and a great shot. If you know where the weather's happening, you can put yourself in a position where you're going to get good photos. So having a decent weather app, I use Weatherbug. I also use my radar. Those two apps allow me to chase lightning storms. They allow me to see whether where the weather's going to be, and hopefully I can be in a decent place to get some good photos. All right, hopefully this has been useful. Thanks so much, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go over to nickpagephotography.com for more videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.